So today I want to answer the question why 80% of COVID-19 infected people have no or mild symptoms. And this may not just be because they have either a strong immune system or a weak immune system. There's something else that's quite fascinating. I found some fascinating research, which I'm going to put a link down below, which links getting immunity to a past coronavirus, which there are four, which will then give you some immunity to the current coronavirus, the SARS-CoV-2. Very interesting. And these viruses are responsible for very mild upper respiratory infections, like the common cold. They're worldwide, they're very common, and the great majority of people, I'm talking 60 to 90 percent, were exposed to these viruses at one time. So this study showed that if you're exposed to one or more of these viruses, this could induce an immune memory against SARS-CoV-2 because they all share a similar protein fragment. It means that if we already have immunity to one or more of these viruses, then a much larger percentage of us have herd immunity without ever being infected. That's between 60 and 90% of the population. This more clearly explains why 80% of the population has virtually no symptoms to COVID-19 or very mild symptoms. It's not 100% dependent just on the immune system. It has to do with if you had antibodies to these other coronaviruses. What's probably happening is this. If you have a strong immune system and you have antibodies to some other coronavirus, you're probably going to have no symptoms. If you have somewhat of a weakened immune system and you have antibodies, you may have more of mild symptoms. Then you have the elderly, you know, maybe some guy that's 95 years old who has mild symptoms. Well, it could be he has antibodies, right? And then you have someone that's younger who gets infected, that gets sick. Well, maybe they have a strong immune system, but they have no antibodies. They've never been exposed to any one of these viruses. And this also explains why certain people will end up in the hospital and will not do very well. The reason I wanted to create this video is just to tell you uh, more about this herd immunity. Uh, herd immunity is where you need uh, the majority of the population, at least 60, maybe 70% of the population, to have already been infected so they have antibodies. So then at that point, we wouldn't have to continue to practice this lockdown. But based on this data, we don't need to achieve a 70% herd immunity. We just really need to achieve a 30% herd immunity because we already have at least a 60% immunity based on these past viruses. All right. Thanks for watching.